بواحد الطريقه مزيانه ممكن تلوح داكشي ديريكتومون يكون بث مباشر ومن بعد كتير لي شارجي لا فيديو وكتير لي شارجي عجيب بواحد السايز بواحد الحجم اقل كنشجلو انا في البي سي كيخصني ديما خصني كومبريسير باي Okay, we are live, guys. Uh, so I hope that you're fine again. Uh, so today, or tonight, rather, is uh, the final session, and it's the closing session, let's see, of this uh, training. And uh, in this training, basically, we are going to share, let's see, the, your uh, feedback and evaluation, let's see, of the training in the form of reports based on the data that you have submitted. And later on, we're going to share, of course, some uh, of the links uh, that from which you are going to uh, let's say have access to the learning materials, including ALT books uh, for uh, any teacher want to refresh his mind regarding the uh, ALT liter literature. In addition to, uh, let's say, uh, links related to textbooks, course books, and so on, together with, uh, you know, students' uh, book to uh, teacher's book and, and audios and every kind of digital uh, resources that can help, uh, you know, uh, tutoring online. Great. Well, uh, let's start maybe with the uh, documents. Let's start with the documents first and uh, move on to the, the report related to the evaluation to, uh, feedback. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, let me just share the screen with you. Okay, there we go. <coughs> well, um, this is uh, number one here as uh, this, this is uh, the, the, I mean, uh, these are some of the resources that you will have access to. Inshallah, I'm going to share with you the link. One link is related to um, the ALT books. You will find here, um, you know, uh, different, many, many, uh, you know, uh, books related to ALT theory. Uh, some very important, uh, I mean, uh, e-books, right, so that can help you. Uh, not just tutoring uh, online, but... Also, uh, you know, conduct uh, an action research if you want, or uh, maybe if you have an academic research that you want to work on, there are some different books here of different topics. As you can see here, there are, you can find here some of the basic books like uh, books by Brown Douglas, like uh, The Methods and Approaches by Richards and Rogers. These are some of the common, uh, you know, uh, books about ELT uh, theory and so on and methods that are very common. Well, uh, this is uh, the, the link or the package number one. The other one is, um, of course, here you got more documents here where you can find more materials, okay? <clears throat> uh, so, so see, these are some very important documents related to, uh, you know, uh, Moroccan education here, okay? So some official guidelines, uh, the white book, and in the right? so, right? school life and so on, right? Everything that can help, uh, let's say, uh, have a clear understanding of, uh, let's say, how uh, education goes in Morocco. Um, okay, some uh, things related to training, the training that some modules here related to the training that, you know, uh, uh, teacher trainees, uh, let's say, receive before they join, uh, let's say, the, this, the, the teaching uh, job. And the teachers, some teaching materials, so you can find them here. Okay, then uh, you will find then another um, package related to ALT textbooks, workbooks, and course books. You'll find here many, many great uh, important materials that you can uh, use. And uh, what is so good here is that you can find a textbook and you can find, you know, different levels, right? If you are interested maybe in beginners, elementary, uh, intermediate, or upper intermediate. So these are different materials that you can download. Uh, the total size, let's see, of the uh, materials, as I said before, is 12 gigabytes. So I will just give you access, let's say, I have already, I think, give you, uh, given you access, let's see, to this. I have added the, your emails because this uh, drive is restricted, but for you, right, uh, okay, you can have access, let's see, to the uh, these drives, and you can download. If you can't download everything, you can have access to the drive and uh, download what you want. Or maybe we, we, I recommend to have a right of, or if you know someone who has a fi fiber optic or at least Wi-Fi or whatever, right? Then uh, you can think of downloading the whole documents at once, right? Okay, because uh, six gigabytes, uh, right? For each, uh, you know, uh, drive or each package of documents is not easy to download using your uh, mobile data. I don't recommend to use your mobile data or your mobile phone to download the whole documents, right? You can do that, right? You need 
the fast internet connection. Well, this is on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, let me share a document related to uh, lists. Uh, lists, uh, I have here gathered some lists of websites that contains digital resources that can be of great help. Like here, uh, this is one of my favorites, live mm -hmm. worksheets, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, someone said that it's uh, maybe semi Maula maybe guys uh, said that it's difficult to work on. I don't think it is, right? It's very easy, right? No, I worked with that me too. Yeah, right, you can choose, uh, you can type in here the, you can type in the topic that you want to search for. For instance, I will, I'm teaching beginners, I would like to practice um, is and R, right? I will try to choose a good document. I think this one, this is one of the documents, I, uh, handouts I use it, and it yeah. looks good, right? So it gives you a possibility to write the answers directly here, right? Or, um, you know, there are different ways of, let's say, um, the way we answer, right? Either you type in the answer, right? Sometimes you can find matching uh, exercises here. Uh, okay, so there are many, many different, uh, you know, uh, things to, uh, to learn here, right? Well, to you, right? So the, this is a list, right? Word wall, right? Perfect English grammar, right? K5 learning. I recommend this one, especially for the ones who are interested in reading. And uh, reading here, right? When, when you go to this uh, website, I, I personally uh, use this website. Uh, you know, some documents are free. It, it's, it's mainly concerned with um, uh, grammar, writing, and reading in particular, reading, reading, right? You find well, uh, you know, devised reading materials, right? Which are rich in information, right? And this uh, link I have used, it, it was an, a recommendation from a mother, a parent uh, of, the, of the students from uh, Saudi Arabia. You know, the student is 10 years old, but he speaks English so fluently. <laughs> I really works hard, it tired me, right? You know, working with that student. Because, you know, he uh, is a student in an international school, right? Uh, you know, an American international school in Saudi Arabia. And the, his, ma his mother told me that, okay, uh, this link uh, is one of the links to websites where, let's say, the school, you know, you, uh, uses some materials and so on, right? Okay, so you, I personally bought, uh, let's say, some materials, some reading materials. Uh, you know, you find the reading materials, which are, classified into levels you find the you know level from a to z right level a level b level c level and you find the really challenging text which i really learned a lot right from uh, those uh, materials okay so you can get um, you know lots of things here right of course for quizzes or something like that you can find like kahoot right uh, quiz for me right for some movies, if you are interested in using videos, right, I recommend uh, right, this uh, blog. It contains many, uh, you know, videos and video clips that you can use, uh, especially for advanced or high school students in general, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so just uh, this is an idea, right, to show you what, uh, what is included here, right? And then, inshallah, you will have the chance. You will get the materials and check out, let's see, all uh, that is included here. Well, uh, the next thing I would like to share, so if you can still see the, the screen. Okay, so we have here English online learning package, uh, training uh, days package. So number one, as I said, you have the training documents. There is a, this is the link when you can download all the training documents related to the, the training, including the presentation, the main, the basic presentation I use it. I have included it, included it in, in the form of a PDF, right? So you can... Uh, go back and take a look at all the slides again, right, that we that we presented. Uh, there is the poster. Let's see all the training and just skip it just for your information. You, there is the, uh, you know, the, you know, copy of the program, the last updates that we have made, right, including the schedule at, at 8 o'clock and so on. You find the, all the details of the program. And you'll get another copy together with the certificate, of course. I will mail uh, mail them to you, right? And you will get uh, you have uh, uh, you know including this uh, training, right? Uh, this documents, um, you can find also another link related to training textbooks. Uh, we have also presented this uh, ALT books. This is the the link. I'm going to send you right uh, these links and also right include them in um, a package that a link that you can download, right? 
And we got the training video recordings. This is the link for the play uh, playlist, the, the YouTube playlist that you can, uh, you know, where you can have access, right? Let's see to the videos and the recordings. Let's see all the meetings, right? These uh, videos, right, the recordings are not listed. They are unlisted. It means they are not open for the public. Only you, right, have access, let's see, to the, you know, to the, uh, you know, the recordings. So let me share just so with you the, um, take a glimpse here. Okay, so I think, okay, here we go. Let's go to here, right? Okay, so this is, these are, this is the, the playlist, right? Of course, for this morning morning session, I will I haven't yet uploaded the you know the the videos because of the emergencies I have, and also this evening session, inshallah, right? I'm going to um let's say upload it, right, and include it here, right? Okay, so you will have access again if you want to go back and see reflect on our discussions and learn more, right? You can go back and inshallah, right? Especially for those who missed some sessions, it's a good opportunity for them to go back and see what uh, what what we have done right well now let's go back uh, go right now to the main uh, uh, you know parts of this, this discussion which has to do with the um, with the the reports let's see the uh, feedback right the form is uh, related to the your evaluation of the training right can you see the, the you know the the screen guys can you still see the screen Okay, yes. that's fine. Yes. Okay, so yes. there were, of course, I'm sorry, I hear some information which I personally normally. Okay, so let's uh, just focus on something here, guys. I would like, to... okay, just to. All right, uh, this is uh, one part here. I asked you about, uh, let's say, the this uh, conference webinars and so on, right? Or this training in general, or where did you come across right, uh, the idea of attending the right, let's see this training? So the majority say that uh, it was online, right? Okay, so only few right say that uh, it was a word or a recommendation from one right or through the email, right? So the majority it was online because you know this, uh, you know the poster and the uh, you know the ads were published online. Well, as far as what did you like most about the training? All right, so let's see, right, what our participants said regarding what they liked about the training, right? Uh, so some, or rather one, said that the training was really well organized and informative. Thanks, uh, right, and so on. Thank you too, right? Uh, it's um, a new experience of teaching English using technology, right? It's really indeed, right? What I enjoyed the most was the practical side of the training, especially when dealing with how to write a professional pro, uh, profile description and how to uh, or to, uh, to show a great uh, uh, introduction video. I think these are uh, some of the, you know, my favorite sessions here, right? It has to do with the uh, writing of profile description. I really felt that it really works, great right? Because you had to write, you had to talk, you have to share. We have to correct something to advise and so on, right? So you really did a great job, right? And I still, I think I have already shared, let's see the draft, uh, let's see the, uh, your writings and so on. It was practical, uh, flexibility. Uh, in terms of practicality, let's see the training. Um, I personally devoted, you know, some parts of the training, especially the, during the first day, in order to acquire and uh, get acquainted with some basic knowledge regarding the tutoring requirements, uh, principles of teaching online and so on and so forth, uh, payments. These are some of the basic knowledge that I think we should, uh, let's say, uh, have in mind and, and get familiar with. And the other part is practical. It has to do with the workshops, right, in terms of writing the profile description, intro video and so on, demo lessons. I think this is the, the practical part, let's see, of the training. So it, it, I, I personally try to target both, uh, you know, forms. Flexibility, yes, okay. Uh, I think we were a little bit flexible, at least, right? We could make some updates regarding the schedule of the evening session. Uh, almost everything, uh, although I didn't unfortunately participate in discussions for some reason, it was just a well-organized uh, training in which we benefited a lot. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome. Thank you too for your um, uh, compliment. Uh, it was of great help. Thank you. I would like to thank uh, the students too. Yes. Okay. So from, uh, let's see this platform, I thank all 
let's say, students for um, their patience and their burden, right, and their sacrifice, let's say, to attend, uh, let's say, this uh, training, even though it's a holiday and they are supposed to go and enjoy their time, right? Okay, uh, let's take a look at another, uh, you know, um, parts here of the, of the form. The evaluation form here, it has to do with the oral presentation. As for the evaluation of the oral presentations, as you can see here, about 75%, right, has given, let's say, five stars, let's say, to, uh, let's say, the oral presentations. Okay, so the majority say that it was, that the, uh, the presentations was good and uh, of great, of their benefits. Okay, as for the questions and discussions that we uh, exchanged together, as in, you can see here about 75% again, right, are satisfied, let's see, with the questions that were raised and our discussions that we exchanged together and so on. As for the workshops, um, the feedback uh, displays that's about 75%, again, the majority, let's say, sh shows that, uh, you know, the workshops were, um, you know, were okay and, uh, you know, satisfying and so on, right? About 25% uh, uh, grades, uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, grades, um, see or view that the uh, grades, that they were grades, uh, you know, less satisfying, right? Okay, so let's see the next part, which has to do relevance to practice. To what extent, so let's see the different sessions, let's see all this training, are uh, practical, right? So 63% uh, say that they were practical. They have given uh, given us five stars and 25% uh, have uh, just provided four stars and only 13% only 30, uh, right, provided, uh, let's say three stars. Okay, so um, the next has to do with the demo lessons. The demo lessons were given 50%. Um, in general, it was uh, fifty percent, and thirty-eight percent were given right, or given uh, demo lessons for four stars, right? Which means that they uh, benefited, let's say, for the demo lessons. They think that right, uh, it's it's a plus, let's say, to this training, right? Uh, as for this question or the statement, has this training contributed to your professional or educational background? Okay, so generally speaking, yes, everyone one hundred percent say that they they benefited, you know, and it's it's a plus, let's say, for their professional growth. Do you recommend this training for your colleagues um, who didn't attend? Yes, again, one hundred percent say yes, they recommend it. Okay, so this is a plus for me, right? I uh, I really, right, uh, you know, very satisfied with satisfied with such feedbacks. As for your suggestions to uh, suggestions to improve this conference or this um, training, okay, this is uh, some of the main part. Let's say of this uh, uh, of this evaluation form. Devote one uh, of the participants say that we should devote much time. Let's say for demo lessons. What I understood maybe from this suggestion is that is instead of fifteen minutes demo lesson, maybe he suggests uh, he suggests a longer time, right? Like twenty or uh 30 minutes right and i think we discussed that right and uh you know we say okay i i i personally suggested we have actually we have let's see in the today's demo lesson i suggested to have 30 minutes and some maybe suggested just 20 minutes right okay so if, if i'm not mistaken this is the idea right so inshallah of course we hope to devote more and more uh you know time for uh, practice and demo lessons inshallah right None, right, uh, for one participant did not suggest, any, uh, suggest anything. And the other one says, I think it would be better if we have worked on and analyzed some example, example profile description and introductions, video uh, introductions, the introduction videos, right, you mean, or intro videos before working on ours, right? Okay, that's a good suggestion, right, yeah. Um, and I think I think you have, uh, to me, right? Uh, showing uh, an example would be enough, right? To me, I think that showing an example or two examples would be enough, right? Uh, so that we can. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it, it's the same thing that we do with our students at school, right? With our students at school, before you invite them to come and then have a dialogue about a certain thing, I usually try, you know, to to give some sort of modeling, right? To give an example, okay, I, I can, you know, right? I can invite 
let's say a uh, student which I, I know very well that he's a hardworking student and is ready to take risk and so on, right? And can I have a dialogue with him and so on, just to show an example to students and then let them work. But, you know, uh, more and many and many right, uh, videos, it doesn't make sense here, right? I have sh shown you one from preplay and they have shown you my own uh, video, right? Uh, I think that would be enough, right? Uh, and of course, later on, right, sharing our, uh, you know, materials, uh, our products in terms of profile description, uh, the drafts that we have written, that's a good idea, right? To learn from each other, right? That was a really, uh, you know, a good thing. Okay, and then uh, I would also love if you have suggested to us some brands when it comes to uh, logistics like mics, uh, webcam, um, webcams, and uh, etc. Right? Uh, I, if I if I still remember right when I was talking about that, I say I I, I say that I, I I don't want to great um, you know uh, uh, promote in a specific brand. This is what I said. However, I have given an example uh, concerning the uh, the camera. I said I recommend using Logitech cameras, right? When it comes to cameras, uh, it's for the computer. I would recommend, right, using uh, yeah, uh, ThinkPad, right, or Dell. These are very, very nice, uh, and they have uh, you know long history of reputation and so on, right? ThinkPad, right, and uh, right, uh, ThinkPad, of course, Lenovo, right, and then right, the uh, Dell for the computer and Logitech. Logitech, especially the the camera, the model C920 uh, and, and or 920 and 22, right? These are very known and they have a long history of professional uh, use and, uh, you know, everyone is satisfied with their quality. And it's the same one that I'm using right now, okay? And uh, they have uh, they have this option of fo fo uh, fo autofocus, uh, full HD, right? Uh, you know, HD, right? So I think, yes. And then uh, something more is, they have the uh, you know the, there is a microphone that is integrated in these cameras too okay there is an integrated microphone which which is uh, the quality of that microphone is okay right if you don't have a mic for microphones right i would recommend using something economical right but if you have you know a higher budget you can go for uh something like um uh what is it right uh you can go for just something you know, as an entry level, right? You can uh, try uh, the one I'm trying right now, which is very known, Audio Technica, right? Audio Technica microphone, right? It's a very, you know, nice uh, microphone, which has got, let's say, tri tripod, right? I mean, that's, you know, uh, the stand, right? And uh, it has uh, this possibility to, you know, um, moderate, let's say, the, I mean, to set the exactly the mic, or, you know, uh, the gain, right? You can regulate the gain, right? And also the, the volume and so on, right? These are good microphones, right, uh, to use. Uh, and I say, if you have, right, a higher budget, you can go for rod microphones, right? Rod microphones are professional microphones, right? You know, they provide high quality, uh, let's say, uh, um, let's say audio, right? And uh, I recommend to use that just th those microphones that these microphones such as this one, right? You know, are you know they, they just uh, uh, connects to the computer through the, the USB port, okay, directly, and everything is okay without having to use this uh, kind of ports, right? That we have as in in this form. Okay, so that's good, right? So it's good to share uh, thing uh, such things, right? Together. Okay, and then it says our high quality. Yes, so yeah, okay, this is the idea. Next suggestion is working on one platform. This is the thing, the 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 thing I did, great, actually, during the first edition of this training. My training was all about one platform. It was about pre-play, right? Uh, if uh, let's say some of the participants who took part in the first edition if they are still um if the they are listening to us right now they remember that we worked only on preplay how preplay what is it about how to right uh, record the video right everything is was about pre but now i try to you know not to focus on one platform i try to give the list to right, different platforms but give my recommendation try preplay and try italki right these are some good platforms uh, you know to try Covering more advanced students and, uh, you know, and students for, from other countries. Ah, if possible, in demo lessons, right? Yeah, in the, in the second edition of my training, 
actually we worked together with you know uh, my students from Saudi Arabia and my students here in Morocco right and it was a great experience the problem uh, you know the, during this edition is that when I contacted the parents uh, you know unfortunately the students you know go the their schedule is not the same right like, like ours because they have school at that time right when we have the demo lessons here they work they are still right they don't have a holiday right and right so we can't let's say uh they can't attend right that's the, exactly the problem here um okay guys uh i have made this i contacted them as far as this point is concerned right and uh you know this uh, was exactly the the problem here okay so let me share if you can say, yeah, this is one of the parents here. Yeah. I don't know, Grace, they, they have, uh, Grace, they are not uh, available, Grace, so uh, inshallah, Grace, we try to take into consideration their uh, schedule. It's going to be good, Grace, if you teach another a student with a different, maybe dialects and so on, Grace, from a different culture, uh, that will be a good experience, Grace. Okay, honestly, another one said, honestly, I don't think uh, I have some suggestion. It was well done, right? Another one says, if it's possible to for the host to invite guests who are familiar with online teaching, right, to share their experience, it will be a great help. Of course, yeah, right? That's a good suggestion, right? I, um, I planned, if you remember, right? of course, we have, if you notice, right, that in the registration form, there's a question about your how many years have you taught online and so on, right? Some have one year, some have two years, some have three years, like Mr. Ibrahim Al Bukhari, right? Uh, and we, uh, let's say, let's say we have, we normally scheduled, right, uh, an interview with Ibrahim Bukhari to tell us about and share his experience regarding teaching online and so on. But uh, at the end, right, he had some, some emergencies, right, uh, during the first day uh, in the uh, in the evening, right? That's why I was, right, um, obliged, let's say, to interfere. But it, this is a great uh, suggestion, actually, inshallah, right? Uh, and uh, I say that we have, right, we have another one, you know, a student, uh, Sim Mohammed Garih, right, also had, uh, you know, some experience and he has shared his experience uh, regarding teaching online. And inshallah, great, right, it would be good, great, right, inshallah, next time, if we invite some experts, right, let's see who have longer experience teaching online to share exactly their uh, experiences. Timing uh, shouldn't be long uh, in a certain meetings like uh, 1.5 hours, one hour and a half, right, maximum practice and practice and practice, yeah. Okay, here, um, maybe, right, there is a suggestion here to keep the sessions no more than one one hour and a half right okay so um oh well most of the trainings uh, guys if you if you experienced training you find that most of the training great right, exceeds at least three three hours great right, per, per session sometimes you'll find four hours great right, continuously working and so on right so training in most of the time it's a little bit exhausting right and uh, of course there should be there should be some breaks and so on great right, for for us to uh, relax and so on. Right? But uh, I think the minimum for any kind of training should not, uh, you know, be less than two hours, right? at least, right? Even in uh, master, for those who study, uh, let's say, uh, uh, continue their studies, uh, their master studies and so on, uh, master studies uh, are, are some sort of training, right? Uh, so mostly the, their sessions right, may uh, have uh, three hours. We use it personally. We use it to have three hours just for one session, right? Okay, so and another, we take a break like one, one hour break and then we take three hours, you know, again, we spend three hours with another a professor, right? So uh, inshallah, we'll try to see, right, uh, if such suggestions uh, will work, right? 
Well, <clears throat> thank you. That's all what I have to say, Grace. So I, I don't think we have, we still have more. Okay, so guys, so, so these, these are, guys, uh, some of the ideas regarding the feedback that you, and the, your opinions that you have suggested. And of course, you have again, I, I should hear you again, Grace. Uh, frankly, Grace, for any kind of uh, last words that you want to share, I'll be very, very happy to, uh, to listen from you, Grace. Thank you very much. Yeah, the floor is yours, guys. This is your, your words is the last word, inshallah, Grace. No, uh, no need for any kind of closing speech. My closing speech is that is thank you for coming. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for, uh, you know, for um, uh, spending, right, sacrificing some of your time to attend and to develop yourself professionally and to look for any kind uh, of, of, of opportunity to seize it and so on, right? I repeat again, it's uh, really a shame for any teacher or tutor or host whoever who can't, uh, I mean, sacrifice like 100%, let's see, uh, like 100, let's say, let's say for his uh, professional development. And I uh, intentionally great, uh, insist, uh, let's say, on such kind of, um, let's say, paid trainings, right? Just to make sure that only great interested, uh, you know, teachers, only those who are ready to pay, ready to, uh, let's say, develop themselves and pay whatever great in order to uh, improve themselves, uh, you know, are uh, are the ones who are present with us uh, today here. And uh, this is it, great. Uh, and this is exactly the, uh, let's say, what, uh, you know, uh, I would like here to raise as, as a remark. Thank you very much again, and I, I leave you the floor for you, great, right, for in, any addition, any, any kind of evaluation that you will, would like or feedback you would like to add. Let's start with anyone right here. I should hear your witnesses, so, right? That are of great importance, yes. And so, uh, your witnesses, they work for me. This is some sort of some promotional strategies again. When I get your feedback, when I get your uh, basically yeah. your evaluation, if it was that positive evaluation, I would be very, very happy, guys, uh, you know, to share with uh, anyone who is interested. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so do yes. Come on. See, Ahidar, guys, the floor is uh, yours. First of all, we are very proud to have such a an, an, uh, resourceful teacher like yourself. We are very happy, I mean, to, uh, to contact you and to uh, benefit uh, from your training. Uh, once I, I saw the, the announcement, I mean, on, on mm -hmm. Facebook, I, uh, I felt that I'm interested to develop myself. I, I always, I mean, I'm used to uh, traveling uh, when, it comes to, uh, when it comes to professional development. I go to Marrakesh, to Rabat, because I believe in, in, in learning. I believe in professional development. Uh, so I'm very happy to be among my, my, my colleagues. Um, I have just a, a question. I mean, if, if you don't mind. Yeah. If, uh, if still, there is some missing questions. Yeah, yeah, just some, yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, last, yeah, sure. Welcome. Question of the last minute. <laughs> it's like yeah, additional yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> okay. Uh, just how, how do you, I mean, how, what is the best way to reach students? I mean, uh, uh, so uh, according to your experience, all right, for example, you, say, uh, you have students from Saudi Arabia. Is it the best way to reach them? Uh, I mean to uh, to 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 get them uh, I mean, to uh, get acquainted to them for the first time. So, according to your experience, how do you how do you reach them? Do you, do you reach them through, uh, for example, a website or just use I mean, your social networks? The second question is about Google Form. I mean, is it is it is it hard to? I mean, uh, I want to use it, but sometimes you know, I just hear uh, that the, they 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 offer me just the. The paid uh, I mean, version. So, uh, is, I mean, is it free? Is it for free to use the Google form? Because I really need it. I mean, in my my work. Ah, uh, great. Right, yeah, for research. Yes, for research and other stuff. And thank you for. Yeah. Welcome, great. Thank you very much, Mr. Ahida, for your questions. Uh, I really appreciate your feedback first, and um, I, I uh, you know. I, I really appreciate also your endeavor, great, right, let's say, to develop yourself professionally and, you know, uh, travel here and there, right? I know many, many uh, teachers who 
you know, they spend a lot of money traveling from a city to another, right? This is whatever opportunity or online course or whatever in order to develop themselves. As far as your two questions are concerned, you talked about how to reach out students and so on. We talked about that, but your question was about what is the best way, right? I, you know, that's a hard question, you know, to, to you know, because you can't expect where a student would contact you or you can't expect that, right? What I recommend us to get students is you, you've got first to, you know, um, develop yourself very well, right? In, in terms of professional continuous. Uh, according to your experience, I mean, how, uh, how do you get, how, how do you get your students? And how do you reach out to your students? Yeah, right. There are a variety of ways as way, as I said, I don't rely on one way. I don't rely on one way, right? One of the ways is uh, to register on, on the platform, on different platforms as a student, right? as a tutor, right? You register in different, you applied for different platforms. So your profile is here. Your profile is on, an, in a, on another platform. Your profile is on another platform. At least try to uh, exist uh, on three platforms. Okay, and uh, if you pay attention to the, you know, great, uh, the available time slots that you, to avoid any kind of conflict. This is one way. Another way I, I, I focus on your, uh, your your web presence, your web presence is of great importance. You should exist on web, right? Uh, and your existence, of course, uh, should showcase your own professional, uh, let's say, background and so on, uh, experiences and so on. Try to exist on LinkedIn, right? Which is a professional uh, recommending, right? Uh, you know, one okay. of the recommended, right? Uh, professional networks. Develop your connections, your connections with agencies, with the professionals and so on, right? Many, many grads, uh, not students, but companies are going to contact you in order to hire you. And you know what, uh, if a company right, contacted you to hire you, right? You know, uh, right, mostly they are going to, to pay more than an individual student is going to pay. So your web presence on LinkedIn, right? Your web presence on YouTube, right? Right, to develop so, some content, create some content, professional content and, and, and publish it there. You were present on Facebook, you know, where, you know, many, many, uh, you know, people, including parents are, you know, can see uh, your, let's say your uh, contents and so on. These are some of the ways, right? So these are only some of the ways. And I think this idea of platforms is, is, one, is, is uh, what platforms in addition to social media. Your existence on social media should showcase your professional, uh, you know, background rather than great existing just as, you know, uh, you know, the informal use, you know, the informal use of social media is not, is not good, right? It's, it just causes troubles, right? But you should exist on social media and use it, uh, you know, for business purposes, right? Uh, we use uh, social media, as I said before, I used it in order to target a certain community, certain audience, you know, uh, in, in Saudi Arabia or in Riyadh or in Jeddah and so on, right? You create your own ad, which, uh, which is your video, your, your video that you have created. You can, you know, uh, use it as an ad and then you publish it, right? And you target a certain age group, okay? Facebook gives you the possibility to choose the age group, right? Interval and so on. And also the area, either Saudi Arabia in general or exactly Jeddah or Riyadh, right? Or whatever, right? Or whatsoever. And uh, also, let's say the uh, you know the the, the kind of uh, you know you know people that you want. Who, what what are their interests, even their gender, and so on, right? So these are uh, some of the ways. Let's say to so try to start with platforms first. So this is how how I started personally. I started with platforms. Why platforms? Because they do the job for you, right? They get students to you, right? You don't have if you don't know many. Uh, prof uh, strategies to get to students, uh, pl those platforms, they know, they know many strategies and they do that, right? So they, uh, right, they do the job for you, right? So start for, uh, let's say, I recommend to start with platforms first. Uh, you talked about the, the forms. Um, I didn't use Google form, by the way. I, I use the Jot form. Jot form is, uh, you know, service, right? Uh, that provides, let's say, the possibility to create a form. Uh, be it for a conference uh, registration or feedback, evaluation feedback, or anything of that sort. And I think Google Form is free, right? Uh, you know, there is a free, um, you know, free uh, service for, uh, provided by Google Form, right? 
you know, that's allow you to create your uh, questionnaire or whatever, right, or survey, and then, right, uh, get, let's say, uh, data and submissions for, from the target audience or participants. And then also you have the possibility to download, let's say, the data in the form of uh, Excel file and so that you can manage and, uh, let's say... Um, uh, Jot, Jot form is not, is not for free? Uh, Jot form is not 100% for free, right? If it's for free, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be limited, limited, right? Uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's gonna, it can't give you, uh, you know, uh, all the uh, options to use, right? But the ones, the form I have created is a free, is a free, uh, let's say, uh, free, uh, I mean, uh, right, plan. It's not a, a subscri uh, subscription plan, right? Okay. Of course, uh, when it comes to research, I recommend to use uh, some forms like Google Form or Microsoft, uh, let's say, Form, right? I, I recommend to use Microsoft Form or a Google Form, right? If uh, especially micro, I, uh, personally, I prefer Microsoft to Google, right? And then once you get, let's say, the, your data, I, I don't recommend to use those graphs and, uh, you know, that are provided by Google Form or, right? Uh, you know, Microsoft form, I recommend to, you know, download the uh, data in the form of Excel file, which is an option given to you. And then you use, um, you know, statistical software in order to analyze your data, be it uh, SPSS or R and so on. And they recommend again, SPSS is, is easier and better to use than, uh, than R, a commander, guys. Well, this is uh, some... Uh, thank you, thank you, so much. Thank you Perfect. very much, Mr. Ahidar. And welcome, if you have any kind of questions like that regarding sure. your research <laughs> and um, data analysis, I would be very happy to, to help. Yes, so, guys, yeah. uh, please, great. Yes, let's see, Mr. Great, uh, Mohammed. So, the floor is yours, yes. Uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Most welcome. For everything you have done so far, you're such a blessing. It's really, it's really rare where you can find someone who has a certain skill or has, or has learned something which is so beneficial and shared it with others. It's really something of great. I feel very and, happy to share guys, such things actually. Guys, and with the interested you really, people like you. You really opened our eyes widely, widely on the field of teaching online. As you can see, guys, since, I mean, pandemic, this field of teaching online has skyrocketed. There is like a high demand on yeah. learning oh, yeah, through sure. yes. Especially the internet. The and so this is really a great opportunity for us to learn more about this field and you, you really did, did a great job in like shedding light on all the aspects regarding teaching online. You talked to us about the theoretical side. I mean, starting from like uh, the materials that you will need, the payments method. You also talked to us about how you can create your, I mean, profile description, introduction video, and also some of the software that one should use when like, receiving class, I mean, students. And this is really amazing. And also you talked to us about, uh, um, about some of the principles of language learning and teaching. And this is really good. So uh, personally, uh, I learned a lot and hopefully we can go further in this field. Yeah, yeah, sure. And we should start, hopefully the others will, I mean, I take the I first hope, steps, yeah. which is really hard. I mean, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's hard to go like to create a video, write description and post everywhere. And the question that you, I mean, our colleague just asked is, is not, I think it's not about how to get students. There are different ways, as you said, you can, you can like uh, post your, create your, your page, page on Facebook or Instagram, or you can do, uh, you can run a Facebook ad. Uh, I think this is not a problem. The problem is, is do you have, I mean, design a course for mm -hmm. all like those students? Do you, did you prepare well for if, if for students that are coming to book your lessons? Did you, mm -hmm. I mean, did, is everything there and you don't, you will not going to struggle. So that is the main point. 
yeah. And so that's it. Maybe that's the thing that I have. And thank you guys all for my colleagues for you. joining and for interacting, for sharing experiences. That's really awesome. So guys, thank you so much, Jablua. You're such a great. Thank you so much. Again, thank you so I really much. Appreciate thank okay. you so much. I really appreciate your feedback and uh, your hard work and uh, commitment uh, throughout this training. Thank you very much. Mr. Shatri, the floor is yours. Okay. Uh, honestly speaking, I benefited a lot from this training. Though I joined late, uh, you know I'm going to retire in five years to come. And I'm just uh, preparing myself so as to keep myself busy once uh, I, I retire. Now, indeed, this training is amazing. It will help us to... It would help, it will help us to, uh, to teach online uh, in the year, in the month, in the, in the following days. I think that uh, we as teachers have to develop ourselves professionally. And this, these are occasions that will help us to do a lot. I think uh, during the, uh, the, the pandemic, I think, yes, if my the word is right, uh, we, we faced a great problem as teachers because we were not prepared to give lessons yes. online. And this was an opportunity for us to develop ourselves, to see a lot of videos, so as to see how to teach online, etc. Although this is not enough, I think this training is a plus for us. Uh, as well, I think this training is an opportunity for me to meet new teachers from different regions of yeah, Morocco, and I am proud of this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shatri. Uh, your presence is actually a plus. I was very, very excited, you know, to see uh, that Mr. Shatri is, is taking play, uh, you know, partly uh, in this training. You know, uh, like almost 30 years experience, uh, you know, in, in the field and then coming to attend, let's say, a training organized by uh, a novice teacher like me. So that, that's a, I'm so proud, let's see, of this, actually. Your existence is, 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 is a success for me, right? So that's a hint that, you know, that this training is really successful, right? Thank you very much for your trust, guys, again. Thank you. Let's move on to the uh, next uh, turn, right? Inshallah, for Mr. Ibrahim or Mr. Abdullah bin Green, Rahidar, guys. <clears throat> Well, hi everybody again. Hello, Mr. Hello. Well, I think that I won't add anything more than what have been said. Uh, just I'd like to thank CFD Wahid. And uh, I would say to you, it's nice to meet these professional teachers. It's nice to meet you all. And thank you, CFD Wahid. I'd like to thank your students too. Yeah, thank you. You have very good students, and thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Abdullah. Great, your existence is a plus too. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your participation and your uh, devotion to the demo lesson and so on. Great, uh, that's a really uh, something amazing. It's uh, really exciting. Thank you very much, and uh, I, I wish you good luck and successful, uh, successful tutoring career. Inshallah, great. Okay, so let's see, Mr. Prahim or. Uh, next ones who are present with us here today tonight okay hello hello Mr. Uh, sorry another, I, 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 another I, I, veteran attending here guys <laughs> <He's out. laughs> are you hanging out uh, at this time what, what are you doing I, 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 I am coming from work i have just finished work so uh, ah, sorry I'm for, uh, oh, see. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you welcome <laughs> hello uh, there have been some uh, postponings till this holiday, so you see, uh, in a holiday we have to recover. Oh, I, see. I understand and, and, uh, your conditions. I okay, understand. thank you. Gotcha. So, uh, th thanks again. It's, uh, it, it was a great opportunity for us to see new things and to exchange ideas and so on. So, for me, as I said, sorry for not uh, having uh, been able to participate a lot, especially that I have been busy uh, a little bit. And uh, all I want to add is uh, thank you. Thanks for all the, the teachers who have been participating. And also thanks 
to thank the students you, who so have much. joined our Demo Lessons. Right. Mr. Brahim okay, is, thank you. is one of the first ones, by the way, <laughs> to make the, the payment, uh, you know, the payment fee, right? Uh, even though yeah. he knows that uh, his conditions may not be, uh, you know, uh, helping to attend, let's see, all the sessions. Uh, but I know that uh, Mr. Brian just wants to give a message, Grace, that I encourage you, that I'm with you with what you are doing. That's, you yeah, know, thank you very much for this recognition. No matter what. And your sacrifice thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> My class, Ibrahim, right? Our creative oh, writer. <laughs> We teachers, we should encourage uh, yeah, ourselves, great. each other. You haven't yet interviewed, right? Come on, say Ahidah, the floor is yours. You need to encourage each other, you know? Yeah, sure, yeah. Because yeah. uh, our our work is uh, is of a great great value, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, we, we know what we, we do, so we need to encourage each other, and we need to encourage such initiatives. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sure. Sure, thank you. It's something very important, guys, right? Encouraging one another and so on. We know that many teachers, they are trying to struggle to do something to exist, to show that they are, right? Uh, that they are there to help to, to do something of uh, the common good of people. There are uh, teachers who create some YouTube channels, right? You know, each one has his own style. So, some, you know, are just uh, saying, translating, whatever, right? They just want to to be there, right? Okay, so uh, regardless of, of such, uh, you know, you might find some kind of novice experiences out there, right? But they really deserve just encouragement and training, 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 training for, you know, so that you can, you know, we can stand as professional tutors, not just, uh, you know, doing whatever, right? Or, or, Okay, thank you again, guys, everyone, and uh, we shall we shall again encourage each other, guys. Mr. Abdul Mawla, I think uh, didn't haven't yet. Miss, hasn't yet. Yes, I haven't yet uh, spoken actually. So uh, first of all, I have to thank you so much, Mr. Abdul Wahid, and uh, who have, has uh, provided us this uh, uh, very uh, attractive attractive uh, training. And also, I think too much uh, my colleagues who have attended this training also. Uh, actually, Mr. Abdul, you have just uh, pushed us to start a journey yes. of, of training and, and, and exploring new things. Uh, actually, that we uh, didn't pay attention to. So actually, this is the first time to, uh, to think uh, deeply about, uh, about starting uh, online tutoring. Uh, I heard about it many times, but I didn't pay attention to that. I uh, didn't care about, about giving lessons on, online, but now you have uh, teased me to, uh, to start uh, a, 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 this, uh, this uh, experience. And uh, I have learned a lot from my colleagues, actually, their uh, their attendance, their uh, ways of of uh, delivering the lessons, some uh, aspects of how to prepare uh, a lesson. Actually, I have benefited a lot from this uh, training. Thank you so much, all of you. Welcome, great. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, great, and Mola, such a, Mola, such a kind uh, old friend, brother. Uh, you know, but I remember, right, when we came, right, to the university, right, for the first time, we were still young learners, and uh, he's still, you know, he is an older student at that time, right, already ha having experience, uh, you know, as a student uh, in the English department. We learned a lot from you, too. Thank you very much for your kindness, for your support and encouragement. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, guys, anyone else uh, who seen, uh, haven't seen okay. it? Uh, don't uh, hesitate to get in touch with us whenever there is a training. Yeah, uh, welcome, great. I, I already asked you, great, if you need to keep you updated, it's okay. This is some sort of, uh, you know, uh, most of the, uh, you know, uh, companies that work on promotion and so on, they take your permission first if they want, if you, you want to see the update or not. Otherwise, I'm not going to disturb you at all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. <clears throat> all right. So uh, I think uh, it's the end, Grace. So, guys, um, all right. Okay.
uh, that's uh, something really good, right? So I really appreciate, um, let's say, your contributions and your feedback and so on, right? Um, all right, let me show you maybe something for the last time, right? I'm, okay, the, the, the session is over, so thank you and thank you again.